Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Father Michael Lilly and this is the Orthodox Experience. Um, today I'd like to make a quick video uh, about uh, my title, Father Michael Lilly. Uh, recently I've had uh, several people make some comments on, on a few videos uh, that uh, that you should call no man father. They, they quote the passage from uh, Matthew chapter uh, 23, verse 9, it says that, uh, do not call anyone your father. There's one father who is in heaven. And no doubt these are uh, most likely uh, Protestant sectarian groups uh, who uh, have a, a very an a big animus uh, probably to Catholics. Some of them do think I'm Catholic. I'm in fact a, an Orthodox priest of the, the Russian church. And so I wanted to make a quick video and, and do a, a little bit of a, a dive into uh, what this passage means in the book of Matthew. So first and foremost, we have to read the full context uh, of this uh, scripture. And so here I, I, I start with uh, verse 8 and I go through verse 12. And it says here, But you do not call, be called rabbi, for one is your teacher, the Christ, and you all are our brethren. Do not call anyone on earth your father, for one is your father, he who is in heaven. And do not be called teachers, for one is your teacher, the Christ. But he who is greatest among you, you shall uh, shall be your servant. And whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. So this is the the context uh, of Jesus' uh, teaching. Uh, he is speaking to the, the Pharisees um, towards the end of the the book of Matthew, he's getting uh, closer uh, to his ascent uh, in, into Jerusalem for his crucifixion, and he's uh, being very clear uh, to the Pharisees uh, in dialoguing with them and, and trying to teach the people a little bit more insight uh, on what it means to, to be a follower of Jesus, to be his disciple. And so I w want to first off, let us see that on a practical note, that this, this teaching doesn't mean uh, literally that you call no man father, uh, that would contradict so much of, of the scriptures. In fact, it, um, Christ, God, never says that we don't call our own father, father. In fact, he says that we honor our fathers in the, in the, in the commandments. Um, and we see this in throughout the uh, scriptures, old and new, referring uh, to the Hebrew people, uh, the, their uh, uh, God of the father, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Um, they, we, could call them their fathers. And Christ uses these words. We see that um, uh, in Luke 16, when, when uh, in the parable of Lazarus, the rich man, Lazarus sees uh, Father Abraham, calls him on Father Abraham uh, in, in, in honor and reverence. So we use these titles. Um, St. Paul had no problem uh, using these titles. All throughout the epistles in the New Testament, we find these. We find this in the first book of Corinthians. He, he writes, For though you might have 10,000 instructors in Christ, Yet you do not have many fathers. For in Christ Jesus, I, that is Paul, have begotten you through the gospel. And he's saying that he is his, that he's their progenitor. He's their father in the faith. Uh, again, in the uh, first uh, epistle to Corinthians, he says, I do not want you to be unaware that all our fathers were under the cloud. Again, he, does not use, he doesn't have any problem using this title. The father. Ephesians 6, honor your father and mother. Uh, 1 Timothy 5, do not rebuke an older man, but exhort him as a father, uh, younger men as brothers. Again, 1 Corinthians 12, God has appointed these in the church, first apostles, second prophets, third teachers. So he has no problem with teachers, and I don't think we have it on, in our secular world. We, we know teachers are teachers. Um, Ephesians 4, he, he has no problems again with teacher. And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers. Again, so if this uh, passage um, from Matthew is taken literally, we shouldn't have been using the term teacher uh, um, with, or father. So that's just, it's not the case. So um, putting it uh, lightly, we just don't take this literally. Um, there's other passages in scripture uh, where we would not take literally either. Um, uh, for instance, Mark 9, 43, uh, Christ says, And if uh, thy hand offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter into life maimed and having two, than having two hands to go into hell, into the fire that never shall be quenched. Christ isn't literally telling you to go cut off your hand. He's making a point. He's, he's trying to illustrate um, a, a higher uh, spiritual understanding. 
So it's not literally he's asking you to cut your hand off. And the same thing when it comes to using the, the word father. So what is it? What is it that he's saying here? I'm going to read um, from St. Theophilact. He, he's the great commentator from the from the 12th century. And he synthesized much of uh, St. John Chrysostom and much of the uh, church fathers in his commentaries. And on this, he says, Christ does not prohibit one from being called teacher, but he ra rather he prohibits the passionate desire to be so called and the eager pursuit of every possible means to acquire the name. For the dignity of the office of teacher belongs chiefly to God alone in saying, call no man your father. He is not prohibiting the honor given to parents since he desires that we should honor our parents and especially our spiritual fathers. Rather, he is inducing us to acknowledge the true father, namely God. And he is chiefly and essentially our father. Fathers in the flesh are not the authors of procreation, but rather servants and accessories. Showing them what is to be gained by humility, he says that he who is great among you should be your servant and the least. For he who exalts himself, presuming to be something, shall be humbled and abandoned by God. So this latter point is really the, the, the crux of this teaching is that he, Christ is really admonishing the Pharisees um, who are looking to gain disciples and, and, and lord it over them. And this is the point he's getting to. But if you think this uh, interpretation um, by St. Theophilact uh, is not taking it literally, uh, is somehow just an orthodox, a Catholic understanding of Scripture, uh, you would be wrong as well. Um, we can look at no other than uh, uh, John Calvin himself. You can We cannot really claim that John Calvin is is uh, too kind to, to to Roman Catholicism or Orthodoxy in, in their and their traditions. And just John Calvin, um, Protestant Reformation, sums this up. He says, "While Paul claims for himself the appellation of Father, he does it in such a manner as not to take away or diminish the smallest portion of the honor which is due God." God alone is the father of all, but they whom he graciously pleased to employ as his ministers for that purpose, the priesthood, pastors, the ministers, are likewise allowed to share with him in this honor, while at the same time he parts with nothing that belongs to himself. Uh, so even John Calvin here, and he's talking about the epistles that I, I listed out earlier, saying that St. Paul uses this, this title and it doesn't diminish what Christ is saying in the Gospels that that God alone is our one true father, the procreator of, of, uh, of the world. Uh, but those who share in this ministry of the high priest and the, and the gospel, teaching of the gospel, can share in this title as well. So hopefully that brings some perspective on my title that I use on this uh, on this YouTube channel, Father Michael Lilly. Uh, from an Orthodox perspective on how we approach this. And um, we, we can, while I never personally demand any use this title, it's not a title that I, I lord over. It. And this is the essence of this scripture that we should not lord over people, that we should be humble. And also as a reminder that we shouldn't be cherry picking scripture, that we should read it within its full context and understand its deeper meaning other than book literal meaning. God bless you all. Uh, please subscribe to this channel if you would like to hear some more commentaries and more videos that I'll be putting out uh, regularly. God bless.